Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Fruit Ninja Combo Party. It's by Half Brick and Lucky Duck Games, and in the game Fruit Ninja Combo Party, you're going to be basically playing with up to two to six players, or three to six players, eight and up, 20 minutes, a little more than that probably per game. In the game, it's going to be pretty simple. You're going to be doing drafting as well as card placement and pushing your luck. Whenever you guys play the same type of cards, you can go ahead and grab this little handle here, which I'll show you below. And if not, you're just trying to get either matching cards or different cards. At any point in time, you can choose to stop pushing your luck and simply score what you have, or keep going. You're going to remember what cards are going to be passed around because they're being drafted. And if you forget, that might cost you dearly. If you choose to do so, there's going to be two rounds in the beginner game and probably four rounds in the more intermediate to difficult game, which you can end once you understand it, more advanced players. And in which case, you're just going to be trying to score either the Fruit Ninja cards by grabbing when uh, you're going to see pairs, or simply scoring due, due to this little uh, card here, which talks about how many uh, cards you score in a row. Uh, two, three, four, five, and then of course six. They can give you a net of certain apples, which is the value of the cards, as well as bonus cards, which will give you more points at the end of the game. They've got little apples with plus symbols as well. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like and a basic idea of play. So here we have all the components to Fruit Ninja Combo Party by Lucky Duck Games. Uh, this is the box. There's also rules that are going to be included, which have really nice, actually, looking rules with all the full-colored pictures. And, of course, you're going to get the game. This is actually your little handle, which you'll be grabbing whenever cards are going to come up that are uh, the same type, as long as you were the one that did it. Uh, these are all the points. You get negative apples and positive apples based on how well you're doing throughout the game. This is the deck of the different fruits. And then you got your player cards here along with your additional ninja deck here, which will score you points based on how well you are doing in the game, such as getting sets. Now, the beginning of the game is pretty simple. Everybody's going to have a hand of 12 cards, and they're going to be able to look at them. You can go ahead and arrange them if you want. But you're going to be selecting a card and putting it face down. Everybody is going to be doing that from their hand. And uh, after they've gone ahead and done that, what's interesting is all the cards will then flip and they're going to be doing a draft. So all these guys are going to flip just like this. Uh, then the hands are going to pass in a clockwise motion. And once again, players are going to go ahead and place one face down. You could choose to try and match your card. So for instance, if Watermelon wanted to go for another Watermelon, he could do that. Or you could choose to go the exact opposite card. So never have the same card, which is what he will do. And this player, maybe he will go with a lemon here. And uh, once again, you're going to then uh, pass the hands, uh, something like that, <laughs> and then uh, flip, and you can go ahead and then choose, do you want to keep going at this point? If you choose to stop, you can score. And on this card here, it will tell you what you're going to score. Whenever you score two cards, you're going to get one point. If you happen to score two of the same cards or three of the same cards, you're going to get double the point value here. If you score three, four, five, or six cards, you will get these bonus apples here, along with these cards here. You're not going to score these cards here, however, if uh, uh, you actually screw up and don't get the cards you need if you keep trying to push your luck. So for instance, we'll just going, we'll keep going. Everybody's going to choose to keep going. He doesn't want to play a lemon or a kiwi, so his best bet would probably be playing this pineapple here. He wants watermelons, and he's pushing forward, hoping he'll find one. He does. That's pretty good there. And then this player here is going to go ahead and go for something that's not a, a kiwi or a pear, which is a ton of them here, so he has to realize that. He'll choose this one here. And then, once again, play is going to pass, and everybody is going to reveal. Okay, now something interesting about this game now as well is the fact that whenever you get a pair, such as these guys here on the field, both players that, that played the pair are the same card. If there's three uh, different pineapples or two different pineapples, they have a chance to grab this little thingy here. Uh, so this player would try and grab it, and this player would try and grab it. As soon as these cards are revealed, whoever grabs it, whoever has the most fingers or is the closest down on the totem pole, whoever has the most control of it, is going to score one of these Fruit Ninja cards here. It gives you a certain amount of apples, so you get a score at the end of the game. However, if you grab this thing here and you, uh, or, or you, or you uh, grab this thing here and you don't have a match, so if this guy were to grab this one here because there's no match for him, he actually would get a negative apple. So that's not what you want to do. Uh, but yeah, so it has this a little added dexterity aspect to the game as well as, of course, the drafting hand management. And so the game is going to continue. If people chose to close out before the next round, they would actually get one apple in one of these cards here. And uh, if somebody busted, so for instance, if this guy wanted to keep going and he were to look through this hand here and there was no 
uh, there's no watermelons, which there isn't, then he's going to bust. So he'll have to put a card face down, just like everybody else, flip over, admit his defeat. This card is going to burn. He's going to then score these three cards. He won't get the bonuses here though. So he'll simply get one plus the bonus of times two for two of these guys here. And that would be it for that. But he would keep playing throughout the round until all the cards, except for the last card, would get used. At that point, that last card gets burned and we go ahead and have another round. In a smaller game, you play two rounds. In a larger game, you play three or even four rounds to it. And that's the basic idea of the game. Grabbing this little thing when you want to be dexterous and you see that you have a pair, as well as hand management, playing different types or, of course, the same type of fruit. All right, so that's the basic way to play it. Let's go ahead and talk about it. So Fruit Ninja Combo Party is a game of hand management as well as drafting, but not only that, it comes with the dexterity aspect. You're going to want to continue for about, I think it's 11 different turns of drawing cards from the different hands as they go around and trying to score points. Different cards is going to be more easy, whereas the same type of card is going to be more difficult and also going to make you use your, your Joggin Noggin to keep a, a recollection of what cards have been played on the field as well as what is left in the hands. And you're going to score double points when you do multiples of the same card. It tells you on here if you score all the different types of watermelon that's times two of whatever apples you might get but you don't want to bust because if you do you're going to lose on the bonus cards here and these bonus cards really really make a difference and you also don't want to grab this thing when you don't have a pair down or a triple or quadruple up to six players because it's going to give you negative points as well it has a nice mix of thought and dexterity. Now, I'm not good at dexterity games very much, but I do enjoy them. I like games like Gravity and Flick em Up. And this one here was no uh, no different. I really enjoyed the aspect because all you gotta do is, if you see a pair, you go to grab it. It's much like a game like Speed, those games I played in high school, where you simply take this thing if you can. Now, I wasn't very good. My wife was able to snatch it from me over and over again. Probably had to do with her little claw nails into me. She, eventually, I tried to grab it with her once and she went, and I'm like, ah, all right, you know what? I'm not going for it anymore. But overall, it's fun. It's really, really enjoyable. Uh, even the still dexterity aspect. Uh, the part I like most, of course, is drafting. I like the game Dungeon Draft, and this reminds me of that because you're simply going around the board, remembering what was in players' hands prior, as well as what is currently on the board. Do I actually have another watermelon I can take after taking four in a row? Is it that one left, or did, it, did he just play it face down now? I don't know if I want to keep going. You have those kind of weird choices to make throughout the game, and you want to get up to six, because if you can, you're going to score boatloads of points. You can get five apples and three of the cards, which can be up to like... 10 or even 11 points so it's very useful to do that uh it's fun it's quick it's not one of those games people can get mad at so i think if you like dexterity games and you like a little bit of hand management and drafting you're going to really enjoy this game fruit ninja combo party this game i think comes in a set of there's three different games i think this is the one in that series i had a really good time with the other one i like this one a lot better just because it has a little bit of everything i enjoy if you think this might be interesting for you go ahead and check it out uh, down in the description below which i think will be on kickstarter very soon